Hello guys, I welcome you all on this wonderful platform that is Baiju's exam prep. So guys, this is a very very important session as you know that gate results are out. Uh, now IITs are inviting the applicants, uh, the applications for the MTech admissions. So many students are confused about MTech and MS, what are the differences of the placement, of the stipend, of the gate score, of the duration, of the coursework and everything. So guys, in this particular small 5 to 7 minute session, I will tell you each and everything related to MTech versus MS. What is the difference? So that you can make a wise decision what you shall go, what you shall do. So let us start the session. So guys, first of all, you can see in this table, I have written here MTech. MTech is Master of Technology, just like BTech is Bachelors of Technology. So like BTech was having an, one more thing like BE. Some colleges offer BE, Bachelor of Engineering. Similarly, uh, some college offers ME. So ME, MTech are the same things. Then you have seen two uh, terms like TA and RA. So MTech or MTech TA are the same thing. TA means teaching assistance. Okay. So my dear, the second word you have seen is MS. That is Master of Science. You can also call it as MTech RA. RA means research assistant. Okay. Re research assistants. TA is teaching assistants. So my dear, now we will see what is the difference. Actually, just by uh, looking at the name, many things would be clear into your mind. But still, let us have the clear idea about that. The very first thing is the gate score required for MTech or for MS program. So I would like to say that if you are uh, looking at the gate score for some of the branch, let us say if 300 gate score is required for MTech DA, you will find that MTech RA is going up to 800, 900 also. So if we are talking about the gate score, relatively high gate score is required here and here relatively low gate score is required. When I am saying low, it doesn't mean that sir, my 10,000 rank hai, will I get it. I am saying comparatively, okay. So if comparatively we are talking about, like uh, if you compare the same branch, then RA and TA, that is the comparison going on. Second is the written test or interview. Some IITs conduct written test after the gate and they give 30% weightage to that, 70% to the gate score. Some IITs conduct interview, some are directly taking also. So here for MTech program, they may or may not go for interview. Anna, they may go, may not go. But for RA, it has been seen that it is going to be some kind of compulsory that interview or written test is going to be there. Actually, interviews are important for RA category because every student may not have inclination towards research. So I feel those interviews helps the guides to know what whether you are a candidate uh, who can have orientation towards research or not. Because actually in the TA category, you are going to assist. Actually, you get some stipend. For that, you need to give 8 to 10 hours uh, per week to the college. So if you are in TA category, generally the work of taking labs of your guide, there is a guide teacher under whom your MTech will be going on at the time of projects. So you have to give teaching assistant means you need to help him in the uh, like uh, going to the classes sometimes maybe labs and all and in RA you need to help for the research work. Okay. So guys next is the subjects. Uh, when we are going for MTech generally first year is having 5-5 five, five subjects per semester. So I can say nearly 10-12 uh, subjects are there in the first year. Then second year is uh, totally related to the project. Here the number of subjects are lesser. Here I feel the number of subjects are maybe 6 to 8 only. Major work is going towards the research. Then my dear orientation as I already said. Here orientation is more towards the course work. As number of subjects are more. Here it is going to be more towards research. Okay more towards research. So that's why the name is RA research assistance. Then my dear stipend. Okay before we go to the stipend. I would also like to tell you that ki, uh, whenever we are talking about a very important parameter duration, many students feels that obviously sir, is dekhna kya hai. duration will be two years. So for MTech, yes, it is two years where one year generally is dedicated for the project work and first year you are going to study the subjects. 
okay but when we are talking about ms here my dear it may go from 2 to 3 years also because here whenever we are going for the research work it generally uh, we are going to have a, a some of the research work which will take some more time generally 1.5 to 2 years research work is required i am not saying that compulsory it is uh, that it will be going that long but the point is the guide under which you will be doing he will be the deciding authority that whatever the work is assigned or uh, whatever the project is taken by you that is completed or not so because of that generally it takes more time than the mtech programs and obviously as you are associated with your guides more uh, in the ms related to research uh, you may get better opportunity if you want to go for uh, psd under the same guide also so my dear that is one more thing so generally 2.5 to 3 years are going on for that now there are some other question i'll answer related to the stipend so my dear stipend you will be getting here for two years okay two years 12 400 per month that is going to be there no problem in that here also you will be having for two years 12400 for sure per month what after that if my ms goes for 2.5 years what after those six months so for that you will be getting half a stipend, half half for rest month, half for the rest month. Half means uh, one by two of this amount you will be getting. So definitely, thoda uh, kharcha varcha aap manage kar sakte ho. So this is generally going for MS programs. And then when we are talking about the placements, generally student feels that placements are going to be uh, different. So I would like to say that that whenever placement companies are coming. So even if the companies are looking for a R&D candidate, even though it can happen that they may give more preference to RA candidate also, I'm not saying that it happens, but I can say based on the requirement. Otherwise, uh, generally TA and RA categories are uh, taken as same only because both are master's degree. So generally, I would like to say uh, the placement wise, they are going for same, okay? But yes, uh, MS is not having that determination of completion in two years. So that is uh, sometime maybe the issue of concern. I feel in this one table, I try to clarify your own doubts. Still, if you have any doubt, uh, you can ask me on my telegram channel or in the comment section. So goodbye guys for this session. Thanks for joining.